Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Gagnon again. We're going to look at video number two of dynamics. All right, so at first we talked about that thought experiment about, you know, rolling the ball down the hill and then it, it going on forever and ever. And uh, then we talked a little bit about um, how the fact that uh, it's uh, it's kind of weird to think about uh, infinity and forever. Um, but we got to start... Uh, sort of thinking that way when we are um, starting to look at physics here and forces. So Newton came up with uh, a, a few laws, and right now I want to give you guys some notes on that. So um, let's uh, let's get going. All right, so uh, Newton um, came up with uh, three laws. Uh, he was a scientist back in the 1600s, um, a very smart guy. He... Um, uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm not going to give you a history lesson about him. So if you're interested, uh, you can absolutely do a Google search on uh, uh, Newton. Um, so Newton Newton came along and he uh, he decided that he'd look at motion and um, he came up with three laws. And the first law was uh, the law of what we call inertia. Okay, and remember we talked a little bit about how that meant uh, objects... Um, stay in motion or rest um, unless they're acted on by an outside force. So um, unless Okay, and I gave you the little analogy about how my cat, uh, that I had a cat at one point, it was humongous. Uh, the cat did not move. I mean, the cat would always stay at rest. So, um, now another case of inertia is, um, again, you've learned this in the seventh grade, so this should be a review, but um, if you're in a car, and the car is going 20 miles an hour, um, inertia says that, uh, that when the car stops, what keeps moving? Well, you guessed it. Yeah, you keep moving. So in a car accident, there are actually three accidents that happen. The first accident is the car hitting whatever it's going to hit. And I'm sorry for those that have been in car accidents. I've been in a couple, and um, they are frightening. Um, the second accident that happens is you. Now, you move, and if you're wearing a seatbelt, um, you move at 20 miles an hour until you come to a stop against the seatbelt. That stops you. Um, and then the third accident that happens is your internal organs um, are moving at 20 miles an hour, and they come to a halt when they hit the inside of your uh, the uh, the inside of your body. So three accidents happen in a car accident, and this all relates to inertia. The the reason that you know, the objects want to stay in their current state, basically. Okay? So, I'm going to just give you a list uh, during this video. Now, Newton's second law, okay, says that, um, um, that, um, and I'll write it in terms of a formula. Force, okay, the force, and we think of forces, it's like a push or a pull. So, if I, if I put a little aside here, force is like a push or pull okay force is equivalent to the mass times the acceleration okay so force is equal to mass f equal to m a Okay, so force is equivalent to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this for you guys a little bit. F equals m a. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna make this a little a little bit different as we move along, but this is the bare bones of it. So look, if I if if I have a force. It makes a mass accelerate. Okay, I'll write that down. A force makes a mass 
accelerate. Okay, so there's your uh, there's your uh, uh, official definition. We're going to get into more details on how to how to calculate these things, but I'm just keeping in mind if I, if I apply a force to an object, I can get the mass to accelerate. Okay, uh, Newton's third law. Okay, is one where it says that the the action is equal and opposite to the reaction. Okay, so now I always, in class, again, this is hard to do because usually I try to tell stories and I know you guys like the stories. Um, but, uh, so here's a story. <laughs> if... Um, if I decide to take my fist and punch a wall, right? Action is me punching. Reaction is wall <laughs> punching. So here's action reaction. Me punching the wall, the wall actually punches me. That's why when you punch a wall, it hurts. Okay, another example, a classic example of uh, Newton's third law is, um, is if you have a, uh, a space shuttle. Okay, let's say we have a rocket ship that uh, takes off. Okay, and it blows a lot of hot gas out the bottom. Okay, the hot gas is the action, and the spacecraft or the rocket ship is the going up is the reaction. Action is the hot gas coming out the bottom side of the um, the rocket. Okay, that's our action. The reaction, hopefully, is the spacecraft uh, going up. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop there as far as uh, Newton's laws. Again, there may or may not be questions related to this, and uh, we'll sign off. Again, these videos are best played off at 1.25 speed. Uh, it seems as though I like it better, but uh, again, you guys can adjust your speed. Okay.